So I think one of the things that's been quite positive in terms of how the social sciences community has responded to um, the pandemic and also how funders has been responded has been the speed of the response. So the fact that we were very quickly able to get new projects up and running, we were very quickly able to get evidence out there. I think that did bring pressures and I think as a research community and you know we're all pretty tired by kind of working at that speed, but it has been meant that we have been able to get kind of um, insight and knowledge out there and discuss with policymakers very, very quickly. I think that one of the other things that we need to do a lot more and actually what the COVID reality project is trying to do a lot more of is bring together evidence bases to work much more collaboratively and collectively because I think that there's a danger that and sometimes the kind of academic um, context can make that um, you know important but that we kind of are quite um, we, we kind of are committed to our own research and our own projects but we don't look at the kind of links and the lessons across them so one of the things that this project is doing and is excited about doing is saying well what do we know about experience of poverty from a whole range of quantitative and qualitative projects and how can we bring that together and kind of distill the key evidence that policymakers need to know about and I think there's real opportunities and possibilities there to kind of have a real impact and to kind of say something really important that you know maybe gets heard more quickly as well and more effectively.